Welcome to this episode of Straight Talk. Today, we have a special guest, uh, Dr. Peter Yi. Dr. Peter Yi is the president for KL and Slangor Property Investors Club. And he is also the author for eight books. Uh, welcome, Dr. Peter. Okay. Dr. Peter, uh, let's, yes. go straight, let's go straight to the questions. Uh, we okay. are heading for a recession as, uh, as we all are anticipating. And how will this economic landscape change uh, in months to come? Okay, uh, looking at the stock market, uh, the way it collects globally, uh, mm. uh, due to this COVID-19, stock market actually is a reflection of companies, listed companies, it's business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the liquidity eh, in the business eh, business world had dropped tremendously. So definitely will affect the business. Mm -hmm. Business is one of the main contribution eh, to the economy, GDP. So GDP, I guess uh, for Malaysia, first quarter, it could be already in the negative. Second quarter, if two quarter negative, is considered as a recession. Mm -hmm. Stock market, less than 20% is already entered into bear market. So how it would affect, uh, it's already very likely, like, probability of recession is very high. Uh. Mm -hmm. The economic landscape in months to come, uh, it depends on the COVID-19. See how, how fast it can get over. The longer mm -hmm. it drag, the longer, you know, people, there, there's a Government pumping a lot of money globally to the financial so, system, but the money cannot circulate. The CMOs is the, the people cannot move, cannot they cannot spend the money. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of yeah. money. Yeah, they are like, trying to use QE or they can they pump all the liquidity of the system, but the money is not circulating. And then there's a supply and demand chain problem. People mm -hmm. can supply by Stony Bank or got demand but cannot get the goods, things like that. True. So, how will change in month to come? True. The supply so chain on the COVID-19. Yes. It yes. depends on the COVID-19. As long as it's still there, the whole system is some kind of jam up. Immediately uh, the COVID over, I think it will slowly gradually improve. Mm -hmm. That's what I see the economic landscape. Dr. Peter, you have been through a, a few rounds of recessions. Uh, how is it this how is this time? different than the 80s recession, 98 recession, and 2008 recession? 1988 wasn't there, but I know there's some kind of this recession. Mm -hmm. 1997, I was a remise sale. I mm -hmm. see the market collapse from 1004 until 200 something. I was there. Mm -hmm. So it is a very prolonged kind of thing. Huh? Everybody become paralyzed, don't know what to do, very scared. That kind of things, huh? 1997 recession. Uh, it was uh, some kind of U curve. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then 208 is a fast one huh? because of prime crisis. And then QE 123 and so on, pump me a lot of money. It bounces up. It's a V curve. This round uh, for the economy, huh? I think it will be some kind of because it's not the economic nature. It's because of COVID-19 that right. stifle the flow of money in the financial system. Mm -hmm. So I think it will be some kind of, for stock market perspective, I think it will be some kind of uh, V curve. Mm -hmm. But again, for the property market, normally property market lag behind stock market by six to 18 months or more, mm -hmm. compound by oversupply. Eh? So I think the property market this round will be some kind of U curve down mm -hmm. and then drag for a period of time before it come back. Stock market could be faster because the nature is not from the financial, it's from the mm -hmm. COVID. As soon as mm -hmm. COVID removed, that so much money in the system, the whole thing will bounce up again. Property okay. market, because of overpriced overpri and also oversupply, will drag for a couple of years before it come back. It's All like right. U curve. So, Dr. Peter, what would be the most significant impact uh, uh, for property market? Uh, I'm sure there will be many uh, multiplier effects as well as uh, repercussions uh, from, from this, uh, this COVID-19. 
Yeah, the good thing is uh, government already gives six months no need to pay rental kind of things, uh, the loans, uh, mm -hmm. SME, property, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, monitoring, mm -hmm. all that kind of thing. Actually, is to soften out the, the impact uh, for soft lending, actually. Property market actually is heading, uh, without all these uh, measure, uh, is heading for hard lending. Mm -hmm. It's going for soft lending property. Uh. Impact property market. Property market already no good for very, very many, many years. So with this soft market collect, worsen it. But with the softening six month monitorium, it softened the effect. It dragged it longer. So much the the auction market huh, will not come so fast. NPL yeah. will not come so fast. It delayed, yeah. but it will come. It's still not good. So in your opinion, uh, what other initiatives should our government take to you know to really stimulate and drive the economy back again? Uh, economy, economy. I think government has done quite a lot of things here now. But for the mm -hmm. property market, uh, I think uh, this is for the economy. Uh. Economy, I think the government have already done quite done a lot, lot of things here. Mm, okay. Quite a lot of things. Simulation package today also for survival. Almost everybody has something to get through this period of time. They hang out. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, but this hang out, all this temporary lah, to mm -hmm. sustain the difficult period of time. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, now the next question, uh, Dr. Peter, will be, let's say, how, 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 how can we as a property owner or property investors manage our tenant? Because at this time around, some of the tenants will be calling up to say, hey, uh, this moratorium, you don't have to pay. Ma, so can I get some leeway? Second thing is, okay, I would like to ask for some uh, reduction in my rental. And some more serious cases, okay, probably this commercial premise of mine, I, instead of 10 outlets right now, I don't really need 10 branches. So can uh, your, this particular location, I think I'll forego it. So dealing with all these things, what, what would be the best way for a landlord to manage all these uncertainties from their tenant? I think you have to see two categories. One is residential. Residential government already give out so much hangout and so on. They should be able to pay the rent. Nah? Mm -hmm. So, I think residential should continue paying rent. Nah. There's okay. no reason for them not to pay. They've got salary, everything. Nah. Right. But for commercial one, nah, if you are directly impacted, they cannot operate. Or for example, shop office, uh, supermarket, uh, factories, really close down. Nah. Hmm. And then there's monitoring, delay payment. So, there's a reason to ask. So yeah. it, two ways, uh, depends uh, mm. if the tenant is really good, you want to keep the tenant, maybe you have to consider uh, to help them a little bit. Uh, mm. Like during that period of time, uh, mm. reduce them certain percentage. Uh. They will ask for 50%, let's say uh, much, uh, because two weeks, uh, 50%. Maybe you can uh, give and take, reduce to 20% or 30%. I think they will be happy. Uh. We don't have to give, but Good tenant we give lah, not good tenant letting work. True, true. Understand. So for you personally lah, Dr. Peter, what is your property investment strategy at this time around, at this juncture? What uh, is your strategy? Since I'm the president of property club, I, uh -huh. I, I told them not to buy anything this year. Don't invest okay. too early. Too Start early investing lah. maybe next year. Mm -hmm. Next year or following year. Because they are, <laughs> see a lot of Opportunity coming out or uh, mm -hmm. below market prices kind of property. So my criteria forward uh, for the landed property, uh, landed property like residential, even commercial, uh, the return at least six percent uh, with occupancy mm -hmm. rate at least seventy to eighty percent for the rental income. Uh, mm -hmm. That criteria uh, and for high rise at least eight percent above. If we can wow. find this now, kind of property in a good location, still mm. can go for it. Especially mm. those who are younger uh, people who can stretch the loan. So the repayment is lower, they still have positive cash flow. In the wrong run, uh, with this kind of QE or this uh, property price still can go up. Okay. Sure go up, but it's longer time. This time is longer time. Mm. Mm -hmm. So unlike what should... Unlike 208. Uh, 208 is, is a very fast very rebound. Fast. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Bit Dr. Peter, yes. Dr. Peter, for, for okay, what, what strategy should uh, some of the 
investors adopt at, 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 at this time right now for investors? The for investors, uh, investors, uh, because I was a remiser before, I see mm. opportunity in stock market because mm. stock market already collapsed more than 30%. 30%. Oh. Uh, uh, the timing of entry and also selection is not very important. Nah. As long mm. as, because the upside is more than downside now, it's all discounted. Mm. Maybe they can go for stock first, some blue chip stocks with a good dividends. Dividend, mm. uh, let's say the dividend, re return of equity or dividends income, uh, they calculate. Just like property mm. called return on investment. Investment, yeah. In stock, they call return or equity. If the return or equity more than uh, 6%, 7%, something like property, and the uh, price already way below market, mm -hmm. blue cheese stock, the company will not collapse. I think stock is a better way to go this year. Property, next year. Okay, understand. With that, thank you very much, Dr. Peter, thank for you. your sharing. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, this, these insights, hopefully for all our viewers out there, can help you all making a more uh, strategic uh, decisions in your investment journey. But of course, uh, when it comes to investment, everyone will have their risk appetite, everyone will have their strategy to manage their portfolio. Uh, this sharing is solely from uh, Dr. Peter's uh, uh, personal experience. Opinion. Yeah, personal opinion. So it's disclaimer, it's huh? disclaimer, as disclaimer. Well as disclaimer. <laughs> you are responsible for your own money, huh? as well as <laughs> yeah, because yes, you are responsible you know for your timing or that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, thanks a lot, Dr. Peter. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you. Thank Wish you all the best. All right, yes. bye bye. bye. Responsible for your own money, huh? as well as <laughs> yeah, because yes, you are responsible you know for your own timing or that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, thanks a lot, Dr. Peter. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you. Thank Wish you all the best. All right. Bye-bye. Yes.